Are you serious? Are you serious? Last night, the CERN cranked it to the highest levels times two, sending protons at the speed of light, nearly 99.9% .9 of that speed, and crashing them in the great um, collider. Well, we've got breaking news. China is going to outdo everybody. They are going to build a CERN three times larger than the one in Geneva, Switzerland and it will be able to produce the energy seven times greater. It's almost like when uh, Nebuchadnezzar threw the three Hebrew children into the fiery furnace and said, heat it up seven times hotter than it can be heated. Well, CERN is going to crank up. Uh, I'm, I mean, listen, folks, this is something we all need to learn is what's about to happen at the CERN. Matter of fact, last night, we don't know the results. There's rumors that there were what people thought strange anomalies. Uh, uh, some folks, uh, there's reports that there were strange sightings of ghosts or hauntings or demon spirits. Now, I realize it was Halloween, and that might have been why the CERN cranked it up last night, because then if people did see strange entities demons or or whatever that may have surfaced out of the crack of of the of hell's gates they could blame it on just people's paranoia you know being paranoid over the fact that it was the halloween evening and that'd be one way to mask the disguise of it i know this that when they cranked it up in 2012 and it wasn't even cranked up as high as it was last night there were many sightings for for two weeks and even russ dizdar confirmed reports that there were many sightings uh, in the Geneva, Switzerland area uh, after the uh, CERN was cranked up in December of 2012 during the, uh, you know, during the December 21st, the Mayan calendar evening. And so again, they may have been playing on those fears. I don't know. But listen to this. China is not going to be outdone by the West. They're preparing to build a supersized mega CERN. And uh, this thing will dwarf the existing large uh, Hadron Collider operated by CERN. And Chinese scientists will use its proposed circular electron po uh, pos positron collider to study the Higgs boson uh, par particles with the goal of learning more about this so-called God particles and possibly dark matter, which means in what makes up most of the universe, all right? So the CERN, and this is what they're telling you. They're, they're, they want to study the, the origins or the DNA of the creation of the universe where God just simply spoke and said, let there be light, and there was light. And the light, of course, came out of the darkness. In other words, God created matter out of antimatter. And that's uh, and now scientists know that's exactly what happened. The, they just don't know who cranked up the energy. They know something cranked up the energy. Well, that somebody, of course, would be God and the creator of all things. Again, sci scientists will always come back to the beginning, which they'll find out is Alpha and Omega, he's the beginning and the end, the first and the last. You'll find out that all roads lead to him, to the Father who loves us so much, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have life everlasting. Well, uh, this is going to be very, very, now here's what's going to happen. They are going to present the final conceptual design. This thing is going to be 100 kilometers. The current CERN is 27 kilometer uh, tunnel with this high powered machine beam racing through 1.7 uh, um, kilometer worth of, excuse me, 27 kilometer tunnel. They're going to build one 100 kilometers. They can crank the energy up seven times higher than what we've seen last night. They will literally, I mean, you got Stephen Hawkins saying, don't do this. We might open up, you know, we might blow up the universe. You've got, you've got uh, scientists saying that they opened a 
portal into the beginning of a black hole. You have uh, religious leaders saying that they're, this is a, literally opening the gates of hell and they've opened a portal into the damned. I mean, this is the kind of thing that's taking place here. It's science and spiritual significance meeting at the same place, underground in the tunnels. Uh, but I know one thing. We're going to talk about this tonight because these reports that are starting to surface that's, uh, of, of, again, strange entities... And I'm sure in the in the days and weeks to come, there will probably be some film, some video, or some different uh, reports that will be able to be visualized as in the past. So, uh, wow, are you serious? What have we learned by cranking up the CERN? And should you be concerned? Well, I think so. I'd be more concerned about the coming of Jesus Christ. Because he's going to catch people all unaware, looking everywhere else but to him. Quit looking down. Start looking up, folks. Jesus is coming soon. Are you saved? Talk about it tonight in my live broadcast. Go to my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Live at my website. Click on the live show. Don't miss it. 7 p.m. Eastern. We are going to discuss the Chinese mega CERN and what happened last night with the CERN in Geneva, Switzerland. 